Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little, and I was sent in an excellent question on my blog from Richard, who asked, why did I come to Spain to play poker and not play the Seminole Hard Rock event, which was going on right at the same time? And also, I want to add to that, there's also a tournament at the bike going on at exactly the same time as well. And the reason is, I thought that the event here in Spain would be much more profitable. As simple as that. Um, Richard said that the Seminole Hard Rock was my home state of Florida, but I currently live in New York and Las Vegas, so it's not like I can just roll out of bed and walk right down to the casino. Um, what it really amounts to is in Spain, I knew I could invest something like $70,000 over the course of two weeks. In Florida, I just looked at the schedule again, and I could invest something like 20000 over the course of two weeks. And if I make, let's say you make 50% return on investment, that means I'm, that means I'm gonna make about 35000 by coming out to Spain, and I'm gonna make 10,000 by going to Florida. So would I rather have 35,000 or 10,000? And I'd rather have 35,000 and t travel that extra mile and go to Spain. Um, also worth mentioning, the Seminole Hard Rock is known to be extraordinarily expensive to stay at, which is kind of unfortunate because a lot of the time, whenever people are running smaller events, like $500,000 events, they are a little bit cheaper. But here in Spain, you can stay for maybe something like $100 a day, which is kind of high, but whatever, it's acceptable. But in um, Florida, it's not unheard of to have a hotel room be something like 400 bucks. And if you're gonna spend $400 on a hotel room, even if you split it, it's still $200. So it's not a great deal in that area. Um, also, you'll find, I talk about this a lot in my book, Secrets of Professional Tournament Poker Volume 2, if you have not checked this out. It's almost never worth traveling for $500,000 tournaments exclusively. And because of that, if I was going to go to the Hard Rock event in Florida, I would only be going for the main event. And also, I think there's a 1,000 and a 1,600 right afterwards. So I would probably make a week-long trip out of it and just go for that. My plan was actually to go to the main event right after Spain was over, because you can make that quick hop across the Atlantic Ocean and go to play again. But one of my friends is getting married on exactly the day of the main event, so I cannot go. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the reason I, I picked Spain, and I would have picked Spain. If I had to pick one or the other, I certainly would have picked Spain. I really did have to pick between the bike and Spain. Those are going on at exactly the same time. And the bicycle, you could invest something like probably 15000 on average. But obviously, making 7500 is not nearly as good as making 35000 in the long run. And that's really how you have to think about poker. You can't think, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to win X amount per trip, or I'm going to win whatever, I'm going to double my money or something like that. You have to think, how much is my return on investment? And is, is that return on investment realistic? And I think it probably is. I don't, I don't think the games in Florida are much softer than they are here in Spain. They're pretty, pretty off the chain here in Spain. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I think, I think that pretty much answers the question. I'm, I'm coming out here because I think there's more money to be made. If you guys have any other questions, definitely post them on my blog at jonathanlittlepoker.com. Check it out, and thank you for watching. And also, thanks to Richard for submitting the excellent question.